hello students our today's topic is verbs a verb is a word that expresses an action a condition or a state of being so whose condition or whose state we are talking about we are talking about the state or action done by a subject and what is a subject subject is one that performs the action there are three types of verbs which we will talk about action verbs linking verbs and helping verbs first we will talk about action verbs it's very easy to identify them because action verbs are those which tell us that what the subject is doing and what is the subject subject is the one that performs the action see the example the horse is running so what is the action which is going on here or which is taking place that is run who is running the horse is running that means horse is the subject here because this action of running is done by the horse you can see few more examples of verbs are there ran walk swim tell hide helping verbs now what are helping verbs helping verbs are also called auxiliary verbs these are some words which help a sentence to be completed and they express tense or mood see the example the soldiers are advancing forward so what is main action which is taking place that is advancing who is advancing the soldiers are advancing that means soldiers are the subject here look at this word which is highlighted with yellow are so this word is actually helping the main verb here that is why this is your helping verb you can see some of more examples have been given of helping verbs which are is are shall will may can etc the next one is linking verbs linking verbs they actually work like a link between a subject to a noun or an adjective or in easy way you can say that they actually tell about the state of being see the example messi is a football player this sentence is talking about messi so messi is the subject here what is messi messi a football player what is 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 actually a linking verb because this is working like a link between messi and a football player and more examples of linking verbs are already given there next we will talk about kinds of verb in a sentence so we have two kinds of verb in a sentence transitive verbs and intransitive verbs transitive verbs are those sentences where you will find an object so so far we have talked about actions verb we have talked about subject what is a subject the one who performs the action now we will talk about object what is an object object is the result of an action in a sentence see the example he rode the bicycle so what is action what is something which is going on here rode the first form is ride so action is to ride who is riding the bicycle he is riding he is performing this action so he is the subject here now let's see what is this bicycle here 
as i told you that object is what is object object is the result of the action so if action is to ride what this he is riding on bicycle so bicycle is the example of an object so in this sentence we have an object so a sentence where we have an object that is the example of transitive verbs now we will talk about intransitive verbs a sentence where we do not have an object which is completed without an object that is the example of intransitive sentence you can see the example he laughed and after this we do not have any information we we do not have object next sentence he jumped again no object we do not get any information how does he jump where uh, does he jump no such information has been given and these both sentences they are ending with a verb and they are giving us complete sense so that means these both sentences are the examples of intransitive verbs now we will talk about the verb forms we have two types of verbs regular verbs and irregular verbs first we will talk about regular verbs a verb has three forms generally we call them first form second form and third form but actually they have names the first form is called present the second form is called past and the third form is called past participle in regular verbs you can see i have given you two examples and these are called regular because when we change them into second and third form they follow a certain pattern they are changed just by adding ed or d only you can see the examples call called called decide decided decided so we have made here only these changes that we have added ed in call and in decide we have added only d and they have changed now see the examples of irregular verbs these are called irregulars because they do not follow any certain pattern examples drive drove driven fall fell fallen drink drank drunk leave left left and many more which we use in our daily life so i hope you understood the topic so keep studying thank you very much